Continuing in Health Watch, a mysterious infection traveling around the world has been placed on the CDC's urgent threat list. The fungal infection called Candida auris is resistant to treatment, and the number of cases in New York alone has grown from 1 to 14 in the last year. Now the CDC is warning healthcare workers to take extra precautions while at work, and they also warn that the epidemic is growing. Joining us now, internal medicine specialist Dr. Nita Ogden. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. So I was telling Emory, I, when I read about this uh, uh, fungal virus in the New York Times and they described what they, there was a patient that had it, was infected with this uh, virus, and then um, when the patient left the hospital room, the entire room was a biohazard. I know. It, was it was everywhere. The, it, everywhere. In the yeah. ceilings, right. in the, the bed, in the blinds, yeah. and it was and it's resistant to it's resistant. treatment. It's resistant to multiple antifungal drugs that we have, and it's also resistant to all the things that we use to eradicate bacteria and fungal strains in the hospital. Um, there was another case in London when they aerosolized the room with sodium hydroxide, one organism regrew. Canada wow. or us. So wow. this is definitely an alarming development in the global emerging threat of superbugs. Uh, it's a little different from what we've heard about in terms of bacteria because it's a fungus. And actually, Canada strains uh, are colonizers of the human body. They live in our gut microbiome, which mm -hmm. is another hot topic. This strain is preying on people with weakened immune systems. So who is that? Uh, Long-term healthcare facility residents who have catheters, indwelling catheters, or IV lines, people in hospitals. Uh, ICUs, newborns, mm. um, and also people who take immunosuppressive drugs for medical illnesses or have diabetes. So those are the people that really are at risk. Mm -hmm. The greater concern is if we don't curb this rise of superbugs, where is this headed? It's headed towards normal, healthy people with no health pro problems mm -hmm. becoming vulnerable to these type of fungal strains and not having anything in our um, defenses of antimicrobials and antifungals to fight them. So what does it look like when you've been infected with this fungus? It, well, to be honest, people are already sick or they're newborns and too young to say why they're sick. So the main symptoms may be uh, malaise, fever, chills, some kind of vague symptoms, right. really. And it's, so it's really up to healthcare facilities to be on the lookout uh, and to report the, these kinds of symptoms if they're suspicious to healthcare agencies. So, you know, things can go into effect immediately to prevent the spread. And we just point out here that nearly half of the patients who contracted the virus died within 90 days. Let's have a real quick discussion about these superbugs that are that we're hearing more and more about. Um, is it because over the course of the last 50 years, doctors, a medicine um, specialists have treated us with antibiotics and our bodies and these uh, bacteria and these funguses have become resistant to that because we're over prescribing, not prescribing, but we're, we're over, I don't want to use the word over medicating, but there's yeah, a term. Explain mm -hmm. that because it's a fungus, right? Mm -hmm. Not a bacteria. So mm -hmm. would antibiotics have an impact on it? No, evolution? but we do use antifungals. Mm -hmm. So that is one theory. And that's one of the biggest ones that we've all heard about. However, there's another prevailing theory that scientists believe this is due to agriculture and the use of fungicides to stem rot in plants and crops.